Hi, I'm George Cow, and in this short video, I'm here to remind you that whenever you're at your computer or whenever you're using your mobile device to remember to take breaks frequently. These devices, your laptop, your computer, your mobile devices, the websites you go to, they have been designed to keep you there as long as possible. And what that tends to do is throw off your physical balance in terms of your well-being and your, sometimes your emotional balance as well. So, uh, so please, please, um, a couple of great reasons to, to, the reasons to take a break is, one is to protect your eyesight. Facebook is not gonna protect your eyesight for you. Google is not. Um, the, the games you may be playing on your mobile device, they're not gonna protect your eyesight. They've been designed, if anything, to keep you, right, again, to keep you there as long as possible, which will destroy your eyesight. Okay, so you have to consciously take a stand and say that, oh my God, every time I touch, every time you touch a computer, you are allowing, you know, very carefully, scientifically designed device to keep you there as long as possible. So you got to find a way to take breaks. Uh, I recommend taking a break once every 30 to 45 minutes is really nice rhythm. Um, you know, and, and remember that sometimes you might think, well, I'm, I'm in the flow. I'm, I'm being really creative, really productive right now. I shouldn't take a break. But the irony is when you take a break, when you get up and move, okay, literally you are getting perspective, like physically from a distance. But what's interesting is that metaphorically, um, create, uh, mentally, you're also getting perspective. Because when you, when you physically move, your thinking also moves. Your brain, the brain also moves, and you will become, you'll find yourself being more creative uh, over time as you build breaks into your day. Um, the other important reason to take frequent breaks is to prevent repetitive stress injury. A couple of years ago, I started noticing that there was some tingling sensations in my wrists and occasional shoots of pain in my arm, and I got, I got pretty scared. I said, oh my gosh, okay, so I looked this up, found that it was the beginnings of RSI, repetitive stress injury. So I started taking lots of breaks and I built in, I used, started using free apps, which I'll, I'll put some links in the notes of this video to some free apps that you can download and use to remind you to take breaks. But once I started doing that, guess what? My RSI never developed. It, it went, it's, you could say it went away or never really developed, even though I started showing symptoms of it. So it's possible to reverse those effects if you really take care of yourself. Um, and the other thing about taking breaks frequently is emotional balance. If you're in a trance at the computer for long periods of time, you can get become emotionally imbalanced and that can um, have a negative effect on your relationships. So lots of great reasons to take breaks. Do what you need to do. Remember that devices you're using are designed to not let you be physically healthy. They've been designed to keep you there. So you have to take a stand. You have to make a decision today to say, well, I need to do whatever I possibly can, whether it's using, a, using a, a, a free software to remind you or asking a friend or a coach to remind you uh, or to check in with you about that. Take frequent breaks. So until the next video, I wish you well and I wish you consciousness as you use your devices. Take care.